welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you're making your goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you'll learn to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 15, NASDAQ's down 10, S&P's flat. Quite a comeback, folks. We'll go through that. Gold, gold contract trading up $12.70 at 1964 an ounce. You had silver up 29 cents, 24 dollars, 4 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 27 cents, 80 dollars, 40 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up four ticks, trading 115.05. The 30 year up three ticks at 130.30. And King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 302, trading two ticks at 101.616. The euro is trading at a price point of 109. The yen is out here at a price point. I gotta get this thing fixed at 129. The British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, first, well, let's go into the NQs first. Doesn't matter which one we do, but the, the open to the lows to where we are right now is pretty impressive, folks. Bottom line, let's take a look at this, baby. So, we get this here. We get down to 11,604. And the bottom line is that you are, bottom line, almost 300 points higher than that. <laughs> that That's a trip. Now, let's go see what this looks like on a daily. So, if we take this on a daily first, well, on a daily, you're gonna have a hanging man here, but what we have is this, okay? The, the, the NDX 100, the, the Qs, as well as the composite, are still on an ABC structure on the right way up. That's the bottom line. If we take a look at the Qs, what you're gonna see here is that you came down, you have 39 million shares, you're going into this 60 million. You know, we took out the, the swing point. Is that 60 million? Yeah, it's 60 million. You're going into 60 million. You got into the, the top of the 60 million, is 283 we got to 281 and rejected it you're 288 that's saying it's going man that's saying it's you know this uh 26 296 to 298 is game we go into the spy we take a look at the spy you have the rejection of lower price in, inside the spy to bottom line spy rejected lower price out here at uh, 393 you're going into 91 million shares you did 60 million let's say the spy is also going to go so Volatility, yes. We're going to have in spades like beyond belief. There's no doubt about that. And let's go over to King Dollar and take a look at King Dollar because what we have, there we go. We take a look at King Dollar out here. Bottom line, it's, it's at lows, period. That's just at lows. You know, we, we took, we broke down out of this out of A range, okay, on January 9th. And bottom line, hasn't been able to make it back in and it looks to me that you're down 293. So if you get another decisive breakdown here, well, the swing, I see the swing's 101, 297. Interesting. Yeah, well, 101, 101,040 is game. Yeah. So we've gone to 101,576. That's where you broke top side. That, that is game. There's no doubt about it. So thus far, let's just look at this for a second. I'm curious as to what kind of a, retracement we've done thus far. So right now, from the lows that were generated of the dollar in June of 2021 to the highs of 2022, we have just done over 50% retracement. So, hey, we'll see where it shakes out, man, because, you know, once you get over 50% retracement, you can do a 618 retracement. I mean, that's the reality. We're right. We're right at it. But the bottom line is that that can be done. Gold. We go take a look at the gold contract out here. Now we just rolled in the gold, but the bottom line is that gold's going to have to get a lot more contract volume out of here. We're at seventy-four thousand contracts right now, and the bottom line is this should be banging out one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty. Yesterday you had uh, eighty-three thousand. So we'll see how this shakes out in the next few days. 
some of the higher volume equities we have out here. Let's see what we have. You got we got Tesla up uh, a dollar eighty. Ma Bell, look at that move. Ma Bell, that's a big move in Ma Bell. Ma Bell is up a dollar sixteen. Uh, Warner Brothers on the move again. That's up a dollar twenty-seven. You have uh, Google's down two forty. They're gonna they're getting sued by the Justice Department for you know being a monopoly. You have uh, Boeing up a buck thirty-nine. They came out with numbers. Freeport Mac Marin's up a buck seventy-five. We go inside the Dow. And, oh, here, look at this move. This was this was pretty wild too. Uh, all the moves from lows to highs today were, were amazing, folks. Okay, but the bottom line, the Dow did the same thing. The Dow, we were we were down at a low of uh, thirty-three thousand two seventy-three, and the bottom line, you're four hundred and fifty points higher than that right now. Now that doesn't mean much because you got to just move higher. But the bottom line, it is a move inside the Dow Industrials. The strength versus the weakness. Let's see what we have point wise. Point wise out here, you have Big Mac putting 50. Oh, this, this is interesting. Oh, well, we're still down. I see. So, point wise, McDonald's putting 15 positive points. United Health 11, Disney 11. Taken away from it. Amgen minus 20. Uh, Travelers minus 18. You get uh, Chevron minus 13 and 3M minus 10. Inside the NDX 100, what do we have? There we go. Inside the NDX, you got. Uh, Warner Brothers uh, Discovery, that's up 9.5%. eBay's up 4%. Charter Communications up 3.4%. And Revian's up 33 Taken away from it. Intuitive Surgical down 5.5%. You got ADP down 4.5%. Uh, let's. I'm going to go right to over to ADP. I want to see this. ADP. Okay, let's see what we got here. ADP. Okay, so this is important, folks, because if you are going to Ooh, look at this. Okay, this is an ABC down. Now, let's see. Did they come out with numbers here? So, ADP falls 5% after payroll process to provide an update for its fiscal guidance. Uh, the new outlook calls for a revenue growth of 8 to 9%, down from a previous forecast of 10 to 12. Yeah. That's, that's the payroll division, folks. That's the bottom line. So we, we're contracting. That's the bottom line. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. <laughs>